chemical engineers have significant duty in ensuring sustainable environment. It's because they will design the process and they will actually decide how much impact we do to the environment. Main problem to that, non-renewable energy is always used. And that's why we need alternative energy to substitute them. In this video, we will introduce a few possible alternative energy. Alternative number one, biodiesel. Produced through trans esterification process with no output of carbon dioxide and it is also biodegradable. In fact, biodiesel has been long available in Malaysia, for example, the B7 biodiesel with 7% of palm oil extract. Alternative number two, biohydrogen. Produced from biomass through thermochemical or biochemical process with, of course, lesser carbon dioxide. It is still not the best choice because of its low yield and incomplete technology in application. Alternative number three, biogas. Obtained from anaerobic digestion of microorganisms to produce so-called low-grade natural gas with lesser methane. No digging under the sea, meaning less pollution and diseases. But it still requires further enhancement in technology. The next alternative energy is bioethanol. We can produce bioethanol through hydrolysis technique and the feedstock used is just biomass. Bioethanol is used to replace gasoline as it has higher octane numbers, broader flammability limit and also higher heat of vaporization. The drawbacks of bioethanol is that it has lower energy density compared to gasoline. We can classify bioethanol feedstock into three types. The first one is sucrose containing feedstock such as sugar beets and sugar canes. The second one is starchy materials such as wheat corn and barley. This flowchart shows the conventional process of bioethanol production using sucrose containing material. The third type of feedstock is biomass that has lignocellulosic material such as wood, straw and grass. For this type of feedstock, the conventional process includes four main steps that is pretreatment, hydrolysis, fermentation and distillation. This process flow diagram shows the process in detail. It is our responsibility to design our lifestyle so that we do not harm our environment. Thank you for watching our video.